So this place has had its share of death. It's had a lot of suicides. A lot of them went unreported uh, because the church handled it within. Um, there's been allegations of abuse. Um, one of those allegations was Father Chung. He's buried in the cemetery um, behind the sister's house. Um, and he killed himself here. He found out um, that, he was, that he was accused and they were coming to arrest him. And so he went out in the parking lot and put an, a, you know, a tube, whatever, from his exhaust pipe into his car and died of asphyxiation. Um, that is what was put on the coroner's, coroner's report. Uh, there's always been stories that he went to the fourth floor and hung himself, and that's not true. Uh, the report, the coroner's report says that, you know, he died of asphyxiation, and the story is, is that he actually killed himself out in the parking lot. So, um, we'll go check that out. Because we kind of think we know where the parking lot was back then. Uh, you know, this place has got added buildings since 1992, the year he killed himself. Um, but we looked at some old pictures and we think right on the side of the abbey is, is where that parking lot might have been. So we're behind uh, the sisters building uh, looking for the graveyard and I believe it's like right here. Um, so the abbey's right behind us. So here's the cemetery. So let's go take a look. So we're at the Holy Cross Cemetery. Um, most of the monks that lived here and the abbots are buried in this small little cemetery. Um, and there's a couple of them that we're seeing if we can find their graves. So the cemetery is right behind the sister's house. Um, this is the sister's house where the sisters, the nuns lived. There's the abbey right there. Um, so it's just on the back side of the property. There's not a ton of people that are buried here. Um, there are some very recent graves. I'm seeing graves like for 2003, um, pretty much up to the date um, that the abbey was abandoned by the Catholic Church, um, or I should just say that they left and then sold the property. Um, so please note that this is a sacred place um, and that you should respect um, the people that are buried here uh, while you're visiting. The most of the headstones say father, reverend and stuff, all the abbots, uh, an abbot is somebody who ran the abbey, um, are buried here. Um, and a couple, a person that is not so holy and we will go into that later when I am not in the cemetery. Here he is. Here he is. He's on the north um, side of the fence line, those being the Rockies, um, and behind me is the Abbey. And so here he is right here, and we'll go into his story um, a little bit more. So if anybody knows what the marble is here, we're thinking it's for a candle. Um, let us know down in the, the comments. It's the only one I've seen. It's the only one. All the other ones don't have that marble on it um, but we're thinking it is for um, candles oh this is cute he's got a uh, tee and a golf and a golf ball on his on he, he was probably a chaplain in uh, World War II yeah major or US later. Army World War II or later became a priest yeah. same with the Jeremy Healy down. A lot of good Jerome Healy, Healy, I mean. Joseph and Hannah, Captain U.S. Army, World yeah. War II. Born in 1910 and passed in 1992. So none of these veterans have father in front of them or brother. Um, so, oh, I see father right there. Okay, I see it now. Okay. And does anybody know what OSB stands for after the father? So we figured out what the OSB means. It's Order of St. Benedict is what it stands for. And that's why I wasn't familiar with it because I'm not f familiar with the order. Um, it, I'm pretty new to it. 
So if you want to visit the Abbots, just come straight into the gate and go straight back. And they're going to be right, three of them are right in a row. And then the rest of them are, are further back here, the ones that we've seen. You're not going to find a ton of them because this was open in the 20s. And, you know, they, they served here their entire lives. So Abbot Bradley here is the abbot that started the abbey. He was the first abbot here. Um, so he was born in 1884 and died in 1965. But he had retired a long time prior to 1965. So what a beautiful resting place. A beautiful piece of property. And again, if you come here, please pay your respects. And if you are here to do paranormal investigations, I ask that you do not do that in the cemetery here. It is disrespectful. For, for some reason, this one grave is like all indented. Um, it's almost like he was exhumed. Um, it's like really indented, like there's nothing in there. That one is as well. This one too. So something's up with these two graves. So just remember, even though they say that this cemetery is haunted, um, I ask that you do not do any kind of paranormal investigations here, that you come and you pay respects and that's it. Um, these were holy men, even though there is somebody in here that was uh, not in my book, um, but that doesn't mean that you come here and you disrespect the dead. Um, so it's the one thing I do ask.